I've been thinking about Pentecost and what that means to us as believers. And so I've been doing a little research on a little study and I thought this would be a good time for us to share because we've got some weeks to prepare for Pentecost because this year it's on May 31st. And what Pentecost is, uh, the word it means 50th and it it is 50 days from Passover to May 31st this year. And so what does Pentecost mean? And so I began to do this study of it and really it's the story about when the Holy Spirit came on the disciples when they were waiting in the upper room. There were 120 at least in that room and they were both men and women represented and it was an exciting time for the church because they had gone through the time when Jesus had been crucified, but then he was resurrected and he came back to them and he, he began to tell them and I was reading in John, he said, you know, it's important for me to go away because when I go away, then I go, am going to send the Holy Spirit who will be in you and with you. He's going to be, it says he's the comfort of the Paracletus. And I, I thought how wonderful for them because they were going to miss Jesus, but Jesus says saying, I'm going to send my spirit to be with you and he's going to be in you. And how special for that. So we go on to, to look at Johnny said, this spirit is the spirit of truth and he's going to teach you in all truth. And that's what he's doing for us today, as well as back from the time when the, the first disciples experienced the Holy Spirit in their life. So it goes on to say, here's the characteristics of the Holy Spirit. It says he's going to be a comforter. Well, don't you think we're being comforted this time as Jesus' Holy Spirit comforts us in each of the things that we're going through? He's going to be our counselor. He's going to give us wisdom and direction and and he's, he's going to encourage us. He's going to strengthen us. He's going to stand by us. He's going to be our advocate. You know, when the enemy comes in and throws lies at you, the Holy Spirit's your advocate, like an attorney. And he'll say, mm, that's not right. That's not legal. You're a child of God. And here's what the truth says about you. So it's an exciting time to think about the time when the Holy Spirit came to earth. And Jesus gave instructions. He said, uh, and this is Luke continues the story in Acts, and uh, he uh, he is saying that uh, you wait until you receive power on high, and that power means dunamis power in Greek. You know where that we get the word dynamite from that. So in other words, it's not just power, but it's dynamite. It's real explosive power, and that's going to come when the Holy Spirit comes. And so it's, uh, it, was, it was just a time when the church needed it at that time, but don't we need the power of the Holy Spirit today? So as we are going forward in the next days ahead until May 31st, I want to encourage you to read the book of Acts because that's what Jesus did at that time, but it's what he wants to do today through us as believers. He wants to empower us to do the work of the ministry today. I love you. I'm praying for you. See you later.